Hey, Modern Manual Therapy viewers. So this is a special custom spine model made by my colleague and friend, uh, Dr. Jerome Fryer from Dynamic Disc Models. And you know, as much as I love therapeutic neuroscience education, um, and I try to get people who are dropping D-bombs all over the evaluation, like they, you go to shake their hand and they are uh, essentially handing you their MRI report. Um, you know, I, I try to talk about all the relevant research and use all kinds of great metaphors and relatable stories about how an MRI isn't the end of the world, right? The, the, all the bad feeling or the bad news and the thought viruses they get from an MRI may not matter as much. Um, you know, it's, it's a symptomatic disc um, is probably less common than an asymptomatic disc. Uh, but there are people who absolutely are really tied to whatever their scan says. And, you know, they've had bad experience in the past. Um, their MRI basically just feeds in to their maladaptive beliefs. So, you know, your typical spine model, it has a huge bulging red disc that looks like super dangerous and that doesn't make anyone feel better. Uh, so I requested to have one of his awesome models made with a blue nucleus. Now, um, this is a custom model made for me. Um, normally it, it's a red nucleus, but the cool thing about it is um, that it actually responds in the way that is favorable um, to spine model education. So if you look at this, first of all, it's blue nucleus, not red, and it's really cool because it actually moves well. It's not like, you know, tethered by little links and everything. And the, the spine models typically get as part of skeletons don't really move like it should. Like this actually flexes and it extends and there's side bending and there's a little rotation as well. So if you can see what happens when I actually compress, well, let me get that nerve root out of the way. When I compress and flex, you can see that the disc starts to extrude from that tear in the annulus. But what happens when I extend? It actually goes back in. So I think that's super cool. And if that gets a patient able to you know, it move again to even think that movement is safe and extension or loading based strategies and range loading and extension or whatever the their directional preference might be. You know, you could even make it work with a side gliding or side bending. If that would actually work for them, I think that it is very much worth it to actually use a model in practice. And, you know, I had been, of course, getting away from using spine models in my practice. The less pathoanatomical I got in my patient education but there are, there's, uh, of course, I've said that of patients who are too worried and uh, their fear avoidance is super high. And I think that this is just the thing that they need. I will leave a link um, if you'd like to check this out for yourself. Thanks for watching and leave any comments or thoughts about um, the model or how you would, you would use or not use it.